Subtraction Subtraction without borrowing Let us first learn subtraction without borrowing. Step 1. In the given two numbers, find out which is greater and which is smaller. Step 2. Arrange the numbers in a column putting the greater number on the top and the smaller number below that. Step 3. Subtract ones from ones, tens from tens, hundreds from hundreds and finally thousands from the thousands below. Let us see an example. Subtract 4521 from 6852. 6852 is the greater number. Arrange them in a column one below the other. Now start subtracting. Subtracting ones. Two ones minus one ones is equal to one one. We write one under the ones column. Subtracting tens. Five tens minus two tens is equal to three tens. We write three under the tens column. Subtracting hundreds. Eight hundreds minus five hundreds is equal to three hundreds. We write three under the hundreds column. Subtracting thousands. Six thousands minus four thousands is equal to two thousands. We write two under the thousands column. Thus, 6852 minus 4521 is equal to 2331. Example 2. Find the difference between 4061 and 4572. Here, both the given numbers have the same four digits. Their digits at the thousands place are the same. So, find out the greater number by comparing the hundredth place. 5 is greater than 0. So, 4572 is greater than 4061. Now, arrange them in a column. Subtract 1's. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Subtract tens. Seven minus six is equal to one. Subtract hundreds. Five minus zero is equal to five. Four thousand five hundred and seventy two minus four thousand sixty one is equal to five hundred and eleven. Subtraction with borrowing. In the given two numbers, when the digit to be subtracted is bigger than the corresponding digit, we borrow one from the previous digit in the first number. I will explain this in an example. Take two numbers, 5852 and 3625. Arrange them in a column. Subtract the ones. Here, we cannot subtract 5 from 2 because 5 is greater than 2. In that case, we should borrow 1 from the tens of the first number, that is from 5. Now, 2 becomes 12. Now, we can deduct 5 from 12. So, 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. Now, write 7 below the 1's column. Subtract the tens. From 5, we have borrowed 1. This will reduce its value to 4. Now, deduct 2 from 4. So, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Write 2 below the tens column. Subtract the hundreds. Deduct 6 from 8. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. Write 2 below the hundreds column. 
subtract the thousands. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Write 2 below the thousands column. Thus, we get 5852 minus 3625 is equal to 2227.